thanks a lot, mate. Lovely. So we are back on the South Devon coast, and uh, thanks a lot. And we are heading for a place called East Prawl. So <laughs> right down on the South Devon coast. But uh, the lanes down here are pretty narrow. Don't come down here on a motor home. No, you can do, but uh, just got to be very careful. There's cars uh, coming the other way at uh, quite high speed sometimes, and you just got to be a bit uh, vigilant. Here comes one. Oh, these aren't too bad. Oh, ah. So we could probably get... No. Get by here, mate. Go on. Come get by here, look. What, and the van? Yeah. Uh, what, that big van up there? Yeah, you... Look. Yes, your mirror is Oh, mate, slow down, slow down. <gasps> Prime example of what you're dealing with, but it's all good. Just for the diary, it is 19th of August, 2022, and it's 21 degrees. Sun is beating out here. We've got the air conditioning on, so it's pretty warm, which is really nice. But there's a bit of a refreshing breeze out. And it's 18.08. Oh, yeah, quarter of 18, oh, eight, 10 past six. Yeah. Oh, just on the edge of the village, East Prawl. There we go. So we're just coming into the village. East Pro, quarter of a mile. It looks like there's tanks in there, look. Let's have a look around. So we have not got actually a booking on any campsites or anything, so we've just uh, randomly gonna rock up and see what the score is. Certainly a bit uh, rural down here. Reckon, let's go for it. Let's oh, get thanks in a lot. And then ring. Yeah, we'll um, we'll get in and uh, ring up. Yeah. Here we go. Is it just park here, look. Th thanks a lot, mate. Appreciate that. Just park here, look. Right, hang on. Let's just park over here, like that. Like that. And then we'll uh, give them a bell. Right, we just tried ringing the campsite um, and it went to answer phone, so I've left a message. But uh, I've just been speaking to some guys on the side here and they sort of said, yeah, we just sort of kind of rocked up. So uh, we're just going to uh, park up and then um, go with the flow, really. But what a place. Look at these, uh, look at these lovely tents with the chimneys. So we're just having a uh, quick deliberation of where we're going to park. <laughs> we're now sport for choice. Well, we're not even sport for choice because we haven't even uh, actually got a booking. But uh, we've, we're, we're hopefully um, we're going to be okay. So we're going to just uh, we've parked over there, um, which isn't a bad little pitch, um, just inside the gate. Uh, but the the woman next door sort of said, um, "Oh, we might have some friends coming later on." They um, randomly yeah, play jungle music. Like, yeah, that's all right. We're up there, like that. That's no worries. But um, cracking location at this campsite look at this so we're happy bunnies
Right, so what's happening is Friday night <laughs> and we're down at East Frawl. And what a location this is. It's pretty stunning, to be fair. Um, pretty happy. So um, Caroline was saying, like, what are we having for tea? And I'm like, well, I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> what have we got? <laughs> so I've got some, I've got me uh, some really nice burgers. And uh, so we're kind of like, should we do the burgers? It's a little bit windy. So uh, we sort of said, oh, she said, uh, I'll knock up a chicken. I've got a chicken curry um, stuff in there. So I'll, I'll chuck on some rice, chuck on a chicken curry. So that looks pretty pretty favourable so uh, and uh, we're going to wolf a couple of beers down our neck and stuff like that but um, yeah this is looking pretty nice and the reason well one of the reasons I wanted to come here actually is um, so we're down here tonight and then tomorrow morning we can get up and have a bit of breakfast looking fairly like it's going to be a nice day tomorrow so over that direction is a place called Mace, Macely Cove that looks pretty impressive. So we're going to uh, take a little bimble across there tomorrow from this camp in and uh, check that out. So um, that is about it for tonight really. So we're going to tuck into our chicken curry and uh, see what the, um, the sun situation, it might be dropping down there in a minute, but a nice bit of sunset and um, it's all looking cool. Well, it's we'll definitely not a bad room with a view, that's for sure. Look at this view. Out across here with all these little uh, teepee tents with the chicken curry bubbling away in the background. It's ball in a bag rice and a nice big couple of cans of uh, M&S finest chicken curry and it's smelling. Well it's only our reserves. Oh it's our reserves really yeah it's our uh, kind of reserved food. It's too blowy to get that. Yeah sort of a little bit blowy for the Cadac so uh, reserved food but um that's the good thing about keeping loads of tins in the floor. There it is, chicken curry with rice in a bowl. Right. Look at that, steaming. Oh, I'm hungry. So we had our uh, we had our tea, and uh, then we were sort of like sat outside just having a very small beer. And uh, anyway, then um, we decided we just had a little walk around the campsite and thought, right, okay, there's quite a nice pitch down there, and we don't even like jungle music. Yeah, we do. So take heed and. Um, out the door, no, I'm not saying no, I'm not another bit of jungle. I'm only just taking the mick. Uh, but anyway, um, so we thought this is definitely room of the view, isn't it? This is definitely our style. -y. Look at this.
Mo Hotel Adventures Diary Cam, 19th of August 2022. Time is 22.02. Tomorrow we're going to Maisley Cove. So the view has gone pretty black tonight, the room of the view. This is take two, because the first time it sounded like, <laughs> Caroline said it, I sounded like a down and out. The room with a view. Is it? Uh, the room of the view is <laughs> not that exciting. It's, it's pretty black. It is black. It's disappeared. But hopefully in the morning it will be looking a lot brighter. Ah. <laughs> come up over the top of the field we're just down over there just to uh, deposit my trash in the bins over there and they got a bit of a uh, basic washing up facility here <laughs> really nice perfect old school it's the sink just come into this next there's like another field I just peeped me head through a minute ago and there's just big space and there's even uh, camping up here. There's something over the top of there, like an old bus or something. I just want to uh, maybe go and have a look at that. Such a big space. You definitely want to ride on this bus. Look at the view this guy's got. Looking down over the lighthouse, out on the point. Crikey. Look at that. Old school. So the, uh, the old farm lady with her uh, tractor, she comes around uh, collecting your money. So we uh, saw her this morning and uh, 12 quid a night. That's an incredible location for it. Bit like minimal on the uh, facilities, but what do you need? With views like this, 12 quid a night, stunning. Uh, talking to this lady here and she's got this old van and it is just so like retro and it's just in so much life and uh, look at it the colors of this thing and uh, she's just showing me the seal of approval on the back yeah. and oh, you're filming it yeah 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 all oh, right do you want to well, tell me about it well yes because it actually does mean something this van it, um, my dear neighbor yep who, um, He's, he's Felix. He's Felix. He's quite a famous graffiti artist. Oh right! And he was um, he was curating a Crimes of Passion exhibition of graffiti artists. But he said, "Do you want me to paint your van now?" This is many, many, many years ago. Yep. And I said, "I'd love you to paint my van." So if you come round, you can see that if you folded it out like a cardboard box, it's actually got a story to tell. Wow! Because he he took the colours of my Scottish clan, Calhoun clan. Okay, okay. They're all blues and greens. And then we both found that we had um, 
and experienced in Byron Bay together. He was nearly taken away by a wave in Byron Bay. And wow. I swim. I'm a great swimmer. And I've swum around Bear Island twice. And I've Have been swimming. And, I, and my days of taking those risks are gone. But I've been caught in two riptides. Right. And so we discussed, discussed it, what it was like to be swept away by a force of... So as you come round, you can see that it actually would, if it unfolded, tell a marvellous story. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> I'm loving it. Absolutely. Look at the... Uh, it's Look. a Sherpa Highwayman. An old, it's on its third engine, believe it or not. How it's still going, I don't know. <sighs> but it's so much character. Oh, so, much. so much character. It's so comfortable to live in. Yep, yep. I've got wardrobe and a library, <coughs> and I've got my, my grandson's bedroom up there. But okay. He's too tall for it now because he's six foot yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the retro of this. Uh, look at yeah. look at the floor cover and you know, so It's just. Uh, 1978. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just uh, Mal. Um, this lady with the uh, the Sherpa van that's just uh, absolutely to die for. I've just come inside it. It's just so light and just so much character. Look at this. This is uh, true van lifestyle. The cupboards that have just seen amazing times. Um, oh my God! There's so much to talk about in here. Look at all these. Uh, the, uh, look at all these little uh, crustaceans <laughs> on hanging on her uh, on her little water heater. Yeah, they're real. But. Um, yeah, they're real, yeah. But uh, she was just uh, saying that she's a bit emotional because her, her very good friend has uh, made her a jigsaw puzzle of uh, like a um, dimensional picture that means so much to her. Um, and yeah, she's just um, shown me now all the little pieces with the shooting stars on. And uh, it's all her, uh, about her van, her life, um, dog. her little dog. And my blind artist friend who, who did the image, his guide dog Trent is here. They're both dead now, long dead. Okay. And he somehow managed in a multimedia way to create this image of the field by audio description yep. of the shooting stars, the angle of incidence, and what he he pictures the van, the red watering can, yep. and he made it through through a series of... Um, he asked people to take photographs and then he did a tiny because he got four percent vision in one eye yeah. and the and the and the tiny little pin drawings of the dogs he was able to do that's incredible and he created this <laughs> yeah thanks thanks for sharing the story it's just an amazing story absolutely amazing thanks for that To come to the edge and we can see Maisley Cove. So there's some people down there, let's go down and have a look. There's someone actually in the water. Yeah. 